Okay, um, this one's not going to be quite so easy to follow. Uh, basically, I want to discuss working with dimensions uh, within Zara because there are some strange um, things that um, people find difficult to, to understand in the first place. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is go into Windows uh, Dimensions and select the select the tool, and here we have uh, a square. Uh, if I click on it, you can see that this square is 120 pixels wide by 120 pixels high. Um, it's in position on the page minus 36 pixels in the X and 651 pixels in the Y. Um, and we can move that around and you can see that this will change as we go. Just undo that slightly. Um, so the dimensions seem quite straightforward. Um, what the problem occurs is that when we start putting lines or outlines, as people call them, um, uh, to, to squares, um, and as an example of that, just let me just click there, and here you have the same square, but it has an outline to it. Um, as you can see, if I click there, uh, down here it says that uh, the current line um, and fill colour, the current uh, fill colour is orange and the color line colour is none. Uh, also up here it says that the line colour and line width is none. If I select on that one, it has the current line width of six points. Um, and also shows that the um, down the bottom here that the fill is orange and the outline is black. Um, if you click on that it also says it's 120 pixels. Click on that one it says 120 pixels. Um, and this is, is a peculiarity I find that's very difficult to, to actually explain to it. And it's made even worse by the fact that trying to explain this in here is uh, I'm limited to the amount of space I can use for the video um, and it comes down to um, the toolbars and the toolbars that you can't see on on here because it, the screen doesn't extend long enough um, are these scroll uh, here the the line extended line widths here and if you could actually see the extended line widths, you have this um, scale line width icon, uh, either on or off. That's the on position. That's the off position. So if you can just imagine, and bear with me, that you know you can see the whole screen, then you can see these scale line widths on, scale line widths off, um, and when they're in the off position, um, this is 120 pixels. Now I'm going to now click the scale line widths to the on position and you'll notice that that net it immediately changes 128 pixels um, that I can't understand why Zara does that but it, it, it's something that it does and it's something I'm trying to make you aware of um, so I'll just click that uh, scale line widths off again 120 pixels on 128 pixels so what is the true dimension you tell me. Um, just trying to make you aware that there is that um, difference. Okay, um, I'm now going to scale this back again. Um, and the, the other thing to be aware of is that within um, Zara, thanks a lot, Windows, uh, within Zara um, you have this fact that the when you apply a line to a, to a shape, the line is actually applied half in and half out of a shape. Um, so here we have the original shape. Here we have a shape with a line width to it, and the line width is six points. And here you have a, the same one, but what I've actually done is superimpose the shape, the the shape, the actual shape, over the line width. Um, and what you're actually doing. Is trying to show that you've got, although the uh, line width there is six points, the line width here 
is half in and half out of the square and that's something you've got to be very aware of um, and I'm not sure I'm explaining it very well but um, I'll put that on the uh, on the site um, you can have a look at it and we can discuss it from there okay cheers thanks for that. thanks a lot cheers